Well, you know, the only time that high treason has been used uh, is in the case of the Caprivi secessionists who actually launched an armed rebellion. Uh, and, you know, I don't see how that this is comparable to that. I mean, it was unfortunate and uh, wasn't pleasant to watch, but um, I, I don't see how it can be seen as, as treason. One would have to claim there was an attempt to harm the president, which from the visuals I saw, I can't, I can't be convinced of anything like that. Um, but uh, there was quite a lot of anger in the chamber. Um, so again, you know, one would hope that somebody could intervene uh, who's got respect from both sides or different sides and would say, Let, look, drop the charges. Let's meet, let's try and uh, solve this issue in a way that Namibians have traditionally done since independence, which is just talking to each other and, find, and agreeing to disagree on some things and finding common ground on others. And um, we shouldn't move away from that really because that's been a key to our own peace and stability over the last 31 years. Hopwood further stated that the recent chaos that erupted in parliament can be linked to a worsening political atmosphere in the country. But the, the ultimate point there is what are the executive's bodyguards doing in the House, throwing people out of the House? You know, they, they, if there is an issue um, of people needing to be withdrawn because they are being persistently uh, disruptive, it should be handled by parliamentary staff and the Speaker. Um, but it doesn't seem that there is capacity within uh, the Speaker's office and the, and the security in the House to be able to deal with these issues. So you had the intervention, very unfortunate in terms of symbolism, because you have the executive, which is supposed to, you know, leave the legislature alone to get on with its business, um, <clears throat> sort of being there um, for the president's uh, security and, and very forcefully uh, manhandling um, MPs. <clears throat> so, you know, there were a number of disturbing aspects. and. This is obviously linked to a worsening political um, atmosphere in the country. So, you know, you also have uh, uh, allegations around was the Swapo office in Caymans who attacked, you know, the counter allegations about that. Um, more and more confrontational and aggressive statements being made um, by politicians. And I think, uh, you know, at this point, there's a need for calm heads and, uh, and wise heads to intervene and to call the sides together and just reduce the political temperature. For now, Bernard Swartboy and Henny Sebeb remain temporarily barred from Parliament while they await a judgment to be delivered on the 6th of May 2021 in a matter where the two LPM leaders took legal action against the Speaker of the National Assembly, Peter Kachavivi, for his decision to temporarily withdraw them from the August House.